I want you to welcome the Honorable Mayor London Bree. microphone. Why not? Okay, are we doing a TED Talk or what are we doing here? Um, but I am so excited to be here today and I just want to thank the Coalition of Black Excellence for not only inviting me here to speak but also coming together with so many volunteers to create this incredible opportunity for African Americans in this country to not only succeed but to thrive. And I want to thank all of you for being here, and of course, thank you for choosing the most amazing city in the world, San Francisco. And I also just want to say that, you know, it, it is unbelievable to be mayor of such an amazing city, especially with the fact that here in San Francisco, we have an African American population that's less than 6%. So let me tell you my journey, and let me tell you what we can do to make sure that even though I'm the first African-American woman elected to be mayor of this great city, I'm not the last. That's our job, that's our goal. That's the goal of black, the Black Excellence Coalition is to make sure that that's the case. So I grew up in San Francisco, I grew up in public housing where my grandmother raised me and my brothers, and it was a challenging time. What we saw around us was my normal. The drug dealing, the hopelessness, the folks who were in and out of the criminal justice system and the funerals that I attended of friends and family members on a regular basis, that was my normal. And I was fortunate because um, I had a lot of people for some reason, even though I was a very difficult child to deal with, for some reason, some of my counselors and some of my teachers and some people in some of the community-based organizations in my neighborhood, they worked with me. They were patient with me. When I showed up the first day working at a nonprofit agency with probably an inappropriate outfit on for work attire, they told me what I needed to do in order to dress appropriately in the workplace. They didn't give up on me, they didn't fire me when I wasn't answering the phone correctly. I mean, just basic things that sometimes people take for granted. Our children are the future, and we have to invest in them by helping them to grow and thrive. People invested in me in that neighborhood. And that's the only reason why I ended up in college, which I didn't expect to do. I ended up coming back and working in the community, running a nonprofit agency, running for office when everyone told me I couldn't win, and actually becoming mayor of the city and county of San Francisco. It's because people believed in me. It's because people invested. It's because my first job working through the Mayor's Youth Employment and Training Program at a nonprofit. And so being in a position like this, I have had the opportunity to put forth a program that is like my absolute dream program, Opportunities for All, where we are gonna make sure that every high school student in the city and county of San Francisco has a paid internship, a paid internship. And the reason why it is so important, especially in a place like San Francisco, the technology innovation capital of the world where you have all these businesses like Google and other sponsors who are here supporting this particular summit, it's important because when I grew up here, I didn't know any of that was possible. I didn't know what was possible. We had this incredible economy right downtown in the city and county of San Francisco, but no real connection between young people, especially growing up in a poor African-American community and the opportunities that existed right in our backyard. We are gonna change what is normal in this city by opening the doors of opportunity and making sure that young people get exposed early. So we already have commitments from some major companies throughout San Francisco. Investing by contributing, opening the doors by becoming mentors and working with some very challenging young people to work with. And let me tell you, it starts with us. We have an opportunity to give back and to make a difference in a young person's life. 
How we get to a point of black excellence is not by just succeeding on our own and, 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 and doing well and making sufficient money to take care of ourselves. What are we gonna do to make sure that we are helping with other people's kids too? Because let me tell you, I was somebody else's kid, but my grandmother still raised me. Mama Faye still took me to preschool. Gloria Davis still helped me with my resume for college, and Mr. Eby still helped me with my fee waivers to apply for college in the first place. I didn't understand any of that. I didn't understand what that even meant, but they didn't give up. They invested, they supported, and I also feel like whether I'm mayor or doing anything else, I also have an obligation to work with the next generation of young people. And yes, they drive me nuts. But I am so proud of the kids who are now adults that I worked with even before I was an elected official. They're doing well. They're working for the city, some of them. Some of them have graduated from college. Some of them are actually working for me as mayor. And that is where we have to get to getting them actively engaged, making sure folks are registered to vote, making sure that we aren't just focused on ourselves, but we're focused on opening the doors of opportunity to others. And let me just tell you, it's not easy, and it's a lot of work, and it's a thankless job. I never had the opportunity to understand and appreciate those people who helped me, because some of them are no longer here with us today. But now I understand what they were doing and why they were doing it. And trust me, investing in young people, investing in their future, that's what it's about now. The fact that uh, President Obama has, was just here in Oakland uh, this past week, my brother's keeper in that summit and the work that they are trying to do to make sure that young men of color have a chance to be successful in life. I mean, I had tears in my eyes witnessing what I think is going to change the future of African American young people here in this country. This summit, the events that are held on a regular basis to bring people together to talk about really important issues are critical to the success of our future, of our, our, of our existence, of our right to be here. And I say this on a regular basis in San Francisco. We are still here and we still matter. And I'm in charge of this city and I'm gonna make sure that everyone knows that we still matter. By making sure that we hire African Americans in our city, that we prepare young people, that we appoint African Americans to boards and commissions, that we have summits like these that bring people together to have the difficult discussions about race and, and the impacts that it has in various workplaces, about what we're gonna do about the tech, in, tech industry in San Francisco to diversify its workforce and to do a better job at preparing our kids here in the city for those opportunities that exist right in their backyard. We are gonna change San Francisco. And together, we are gonna change this country. And yes, it is not going to be easy. But just imagine if Rosa Parks said, you know what, I'm just gonna go to the back of the bus, I don't want no problems. What would happen then? Where would we be? Where would the civil rights movement be? All of that hard work has to continue. It is now our responsibility. The torch has been passed to us to pave the way. And we can do it. We have some amazing people with us today. And I hope a lot of you actually live in San Francisco and plan to help me out here. Um, but we have some amazing folks here today. The networking opportunities, coming together, consistently supporting one another and really focusing on lifting each other up. That's how we're gonna get there. That's how we're gonna change the future for our community. That's how we're gonna create black excellence everywhere. And so thank you all so much for having me here today. I think my time is up. I didn't know it was gonna go by so fast, but um, I just wanna say, you know, it just means a lot to have you choose San Francisco. Um, it means a lot to have you here. Uh, we will do everything we can to make sure that this continues, um, including uh, welcoming, welcoming you back next year to San Francisco. 
Um, and also, if you are all around on Tuesday, we're going to have a African American um, history celebration at City Hall. Um, it starts at 5.30, and it's going to be fun and entertaining and, and a chance to get to know some amazing people and see some wonderful performance and also uh, hear some great speeches about our community and, and our role in San Francisco. And the last thing um, I'll say before I exit, um, you know, what I was taught at an early age um, by my grandmother, um, of course she made me clean up and do all the things that you're supposed to do at home, but um, she also taught me to do a couple of things. Uh, take care of the community, because that's what she did even though we didn't have much. I used to always complain about the fact that she was giving our food away to people, and I'm like, what about us? And she said, you big enough, you, can, you don't have to eat today. <laughs> Ms. Brown was cold, but she said, that's what you do. You take care of the community. That's our responsibility. And then the other thing that she expressed was important is, is to vote. No matter what, no matter who you vote for, because again, the struggles that have existed and, and what people bled and died for um, just to have that one right, we can't forget that. We can't take that for granted. We have to make sure that we vote in larger numbers so that our voices are heard because elections have consequences. We are dealing with one of those consequences right now in Washington, D.C., and so many people are living in fear because of it. So part of what we have to do, and I know you're gonna hear a lot about that in the next panel, we gotta register and vote. We gotta step up to the plate, and we gotta do more every single day, and yes, we have to have a good time in the process of doing it. So thank you all so much for having me here today and have a wonderful summit.